the silent language of trees. How the wood wide web proves the forest is never quiet. You walk into a forest expecting calm, peace, maybe even a moment of silence for your overworked brain. But here's the twist. The quietest place on earth might actually be hosting the loudest conversation. You're just not invited to the group chat. Because yes, the forest is talking. Or more accurately, the trees are talking to each other. Not with words, of course. No pine tree is whispering gossip about the maple next door. But beneath your feet, every twig, trunk and towering cedar may be participating in a giant slow-motion communication network that has been active for millions of years. Let's step closer. The trees want to tell us something. The Wood Wide Web, the forest's secret Wi-Fi. Under the forest floor lies a hidden universe of fungal threads, mycelium, a massive network of hair-like fibers that weave through the soil and connect to tree roots. Think of it like underground fiber optic cables, except they run on sugar instead of electricity. This vast underground system is known as the Wood Wide Web, and it allows trees to send food to younger or weaker trees, share water during drought, send danger signals when under attack, detect their own family members, support ancient leafless stumps still clinging to life. In one study, a single massive hub tree was connected to 47 neighbors through this fungal network. The astonishing discovery is that surrounding trees can sustain an old stump for centuries, even though the stump lacks leaves and the ability to photosynthesize. Its neighbors continue feeding it sugar through shared roots, like a quiet underground retirement home for senior trees. If that doesn't tug at your heart, you might be part lumber. Mother Trees, the Grandmothers of the Forest Not all trees communicate equally. The largest, oldest trees, sometimes centuries old, serve as central hubs. Scientists call them Mother Trees, and the name fits. Mother Trees have the most root connections, send out more nutrients, receive and transmit more signals, recognize their own offspring, adjust their behavior to help the next generation survive. Experiments show that mother trees give more carbon and nutrients to their own seedlings, and may even slow their own growth to make room for them. These giants aren't merely old, they're wise. They anchor the forest, store its history, and support younger trees long after their own branches stop reaching for the sky. Some even continue nourishing neighbors after they die, leaving behind a final underground gift. Warning signals, the forest's emergency hotline. Trees don't only share food, they also share fear. When a tree faces danger, it broadcasts alarms in two ways. 1. Airborne Chemical Alerts, Volatile Organic Compounds, VOCs. When attacked, trees release volatile organic compounds, VOCs, chemical scents that warn nearby trees to prepare for battle. For example, when giraffes munch on acacia leaves, the acacias release ethylene gas. Nearby acacias detect the scent and quickly load their leaves with bitter chemicals. Message received. Sorry, giraffes. Lunch is cancelled. Two underground distress signals. Douglas fir seedlings, when attacked by pests, send chemical distress signals through the surrounding mycorrhizal network. Neighboring trees receive the warning and activate defense genes before the insects arrive. It's basically the forest's group text. Tree 1, help! Something's eating me! Tree 2, defensive mode activated. Tree 3, deploying bitter chemicals. Tree 4, ETA on the insects. This can happen in minutes. Astonishing speed for organisms famous for taking decades to grow a branch. 4, friendship, families, and other tree social skills. A truly surprising fact is that trees have complex relationships with one another. 
Trees of the same species often support each other. Some pairs grow so close their roots intertwine, like lifelong friends holding hands. When one dies, the survivor often weakens and may die soon after. Trees growing in tight clusters stay cooler, moister, and healthier. Forest life is not a competition, it's cooperation on an ancient scale. A lonely tree is a fragile tree. A connected tree is a powerful one. Forests put most human group projects to shame. 5. Do trees have something like a brain? Trees don't think like humans. But scientists have found something remarkable. The root tips of trees behave in ways surprisingly similar to neurons. Root tips process environmental information, react to stimuli, make growth decisions, send electrical signals that resemble nerve impulses. One scientist even described the underground system as the brain of the forest, noting that its structure resembles neural networks in animals. Trees don't have brains, but forests may have something better, a distributed intelligence, a shared memory, a living library beneath the soil. 6. Silence isn't safety. What happens when the network breaks? Here's the heartbreaking part. This ancient distributed intelligence, this living library, is surprisingly fragile. Modern forestry practices often break the wood wide web without realizing it. Heavy machinery compacts the soil, crushing the air pockets that fungi need. Without oxygen, the mycorrhizal network collapses. When that happens, trees become isolated. Warning signals fade. Resource sharing stops. Forests grow weaker and less resilient. Plantations of same-aged single-species trees grow quickly, but they lack the community structure of natural forests. They're forests without Wi-Fi, neighbors, or support systems. A forest that cannot communicate is a forest in danger. 7. What humans can learn from tree communication? Trees don't argue online. They don't hoard resources. They don't abandon the weak. They don't grow faster just to win. Instead, trees share. Trees protect. Trees support the elderly. Trees warn their neighbors. Trees help the young. Trees thrive through connection, not competition. The way forests communicate is not only scientifically fascinating, it's a model for how communities survive. The greatest lesson the forest whispers is simple and ancient. We grow better together. Final thoughts. Next time you walk through a forest, remember, you're standing above a vast conversation full of whispers, Warnings, gifts, and memories flowing through roots and fungi. The forest is talking. The roots are listening. The network is alive. And maybe the trees aren't asking us to join their conversation. Maybe they're asking us to protect it. It's time to study new words in context. One towering. Definition, very tall or high, especially in a way that inspires awe or respect. Example, the towering trees made the hikers feel small as they walk through the forest. 2. Mycelium. Definition, a network of thin, thread-like fungal structures that grow underground and connect plant roots. Example, mycelium allows trees to share nutrients through the soil. 3. Fiber optic. Definition. Related to technology that uses thin glass or plastic fibers to transmit information using light. Example, the internet connection relies on fiber optic cables to send data quickly. 4. Photosynthesize. Definition. To produce food by using sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide as plants do. Example, trees photosynthesize during the day to create the energy they need to grow. 5. Tug at your heart. Definition, to cause strong feelings of sympathy, sadness, or affection. Example, the story of the old tree. Being cared for by its neighbors tugged at my heart. 6. Seedling. Definition, 
a very young plant that has just begun to grow from a seed. Example, the seedling struggled to survive without enough sunlight. 7. Munch. Definition, to eat something with steady, repeated chewing sounds. Example, the giraffe munched on the leaves at the top of the tree. 8. Distress signals. Definition, signs or messages sent to show danger, pain, or a need for help. Example, the tree released distress signals to warn nearby plants of insect attacks. 9. ETA. Definition, an abbreviation for estimated time of arrival, meaning the expected time something or someone will arrive. Example, the rescue team gave an ETA of 20 minutes. 10. Intertwine. Definition, to twist or weave together closely. Example, the roots of the two trees intertwine beneath the soil. 11. Root tips. Definition. The growing ends of roots, where plants sense their environment and absorb nutrients. Example. Root tips help trees decide where to grow underground. 12. Neurons. Definition. Specialized cells in the nervous system that transmit information using electrical and chemical signals. Example. Neurons allow the brain to communicate with the rest of the body. 13. Forestry. Definition. The science and practice of managing forests, trees, and woodland areas. Example, forestry practices affect how healthy a forest remains over time. 14. Resilient. Definition, able to recover quickly from difficulties or damage. Example, the forest proved resilient after the storm passed. 15. Hoard. Definition, to collect and keep large amounts of something, often more than needed. Example. Unlike humans, trees do not hoard resources but share them. Comprehension Questions 1. What is the wood wide web? Answer. It is the underground network of fungal threads mycelium that connects tree roots, allowing trees to share nutrients, water, and chemical signals. 2. What is mycelium and why is it important? Answer. Mycelium is a network of tiny fungal fibers that acts like communication cables for trees. It enables trees to send resources and warning signals to each other. 3. What surprising discovery did scientists make about old tree stumps? Answer. Scientists found that neighboring trees can keep ancient stumps alive by sending them nutrients through shared roots, even though the stump has no leaves to make its own food. 4. What are mother trees? Answer. Mother trees are the largest oldest trees in a forest that serve as central hubs. They support young trees, especially their own seedlings, by sending them extra nutrients and signals. 5. What does scientific evidence show about how mother trees treat their own seedlings? Answer. They recognize their kin and give them more carbon and nutrients than unrelated seedlings, sometimes even slowing their own growth to help them survive. 6. How do trees send warning signals through the air? Answer. Trees release volatile organic compounds, VOCs, chemical scents that alert nearby trees to danger, such as insect attacks or damage. 7. How do trees communicate danger underground? Answer. They send chemical signals through the mycorrhizal network, triggering nearby trees to activate their defense genes before the threat reaches them. 8. Why is it helpful for trees to be closely connected in a forest? Answer. Connection allows them to share resources, protect each other, regulate temperature, and prepare for threats, making the entire forest more resilient. 9. What comparison does the article make between the fungal network and the human brain? Answer. The structure and signaling patterns of the root fungus network resemble a neural network leading some scientists to describe it as the brain of the forest. 10. What modern forestry practices threaten the wood wide web? Answer. Heavy machinery and large-scale clear cutting compact the soil, killing fungi and breaking the communication pathways trees depend on. 11. What happens to trees when the network breaks? Answer. They become isolated, cannot share resources, lose their warning systems, and are more likely to weaken or die. 12. What is the main message or lesson the forest teaches us? According to the article, answer. 
That cooperation, not competition, is what keeps a community strong. Trees show us that we grow better together. 13. What tone does the article use to explain scientific information? Answer. A mix of humorous and dramatic tone, using analogies like forest Wi-Fi, group texts and tree retirement homes to make the science engaging and easy to understand. 14. Why does the article say a lonely tree is a fragile tree? Answer. Because isolated trees cannot receive help, nutrients or warnings from others. They lack the protection that comes from being part of the forest network. 15. How does the article encourage readers to think about forests differently? Answer. It shows that forests are active, interconnected communities, not silent groups of individual trees, reminding us to respect and protect their communication systems.